Read these powerful Psalms before you sleep out. You will begin to win battles, even in your dream. If you learn to use this Psalm, don't say I didn't tell you. You will begin to hear that things are happening around you. You will begin to hear that some people who fly at night were unable to get up in the morning. Don't bother yourself. This is the power of Christ walking. Shalom, wonderful family. How are you doing? Welcome or welcome back to this platform, East Stretching Floor. My name is Bolanle. We are still on our series, Mystery and Mastery of the Book of Psalms. I am sure you have been following. If you have not, the introduction, I'm going to be dropping it up here. If it's your first time of seeing my face, you want to join this family of God, where we use the Word of God and apply it to our daily activities. And it's been working. The Word of God in my life, it did work, it did work, it did work. It did work, 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 it did work. Honestly, it's working. So today I am going to be sharing with you scriptures that you can use at night. That no demons, no power of hell will come close to you while you're sleeping and you will have sound sleep. Now, have you been in situations where when you sleep, you are caught in between your reality and your dream? You are half asleep, half awake. Your body is lying motionless on the bed. And at such time, you want to tap the person beside you, but you are unable to carry your hands. You are unable to carry your legs. You are unable to scream. Even when you want to scream, you are unable to scream. You are unable to shout, Jesus. You are unable to shout the name Jesus. And science says it's sleep paralysis. Let me tell you something. I have asked scientists a couple of questions. I have not been able to get answers. Where does your soul go to when you are sleeping? Where does your spirit man go to when you are sleeping? What happens to your spirit man when your body is lying motionless? That is the place where activities happen. While men slept. Why not while men are awake? While men slept, the enemies came and sowed tears. So when you are sleeping, it is an opportunity for the enemy to strike. And at that time, when your body is lying motionless and you are feeling as if someone is pressing you, there is a spiritual activity going on around you. So I am going to be sharing with you five scriptures that you can combine and read every night before you sleep. Now, let me say this. These scriptures, within 30 minutes, you can finish them. And what I do usually is I move around the house. When I move around the house, I recite these scriptures around the house. I have a sister. What she does is she recites these psalms into the water and sprinkle it. As much as I'm not a preacher of you reciting this psalm into the water, because I know a lot of people who would idolize it. Even oil, you can recite it into the oil and you sprinkle it around your house. But I know people will begin to idolize all those things. You know, in this world, human beings, we can idolize anything. So I do not want you to idolize any object or anything at all. The word of God supersedes any other thing. So for me, I just use the word of God, the scriptures. I recite it. And I'm good. Now, the very first psalm that I want to share with you here, I'm going to be giving you a blend of five psalms. But the very first one that I'm going to be sharing with you is in the book of Psalm 59. And I'm going to be reading from verse 1 to 6. The psalm is up to 17. And please don't be lazy about this. Your life, your success, your spiritual life matters. So you do not want to take them with levity. He says, deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquities and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, not for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me. And behold, Thou therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, I wake to all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressor. 
They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog and go around about the city. Now, these are the activities that happen at night while men slept. They come and lie in wait for your soul. When you have done all that you have to do in the daytime, they come and wait for you at night to deal with you. Some of these people, you haven't offended them. You haven't done anything wrong. Some of them are envious, jealous because of your success. Some of them want to be like you, but it's just not possible for them because favor of God is smiling on you. That is why you have offended them. Some of them because you used to support them and you stopped to support them probably because you do not have. And you yourself, you are trying to make ends meet. Then you have become an enemy because you have stopped supporting them. The second psalm that we are looking at is Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the ways against them and persecute them. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Now listen, let me give you a, a, a scenario. There was a time a brother shared a story with me some years ago. This brother, whenever something good is about to happen to him, whenever he's expecting something miraculous to happen, they will come in his sleep and have sex with him and the something will disappear. In fact, there was one he told me that he had already gotten the job, good job with good pay. Just for the brother to resume and they said there was an issue, there is a change of boss and all that. And this job just slipped off this brother. When the spirit's wife came and slept with him in his sleep and the job was taken off. There are a lot of people who are currently experiencing situations like this. There was another story of a lady who usually eats in her sleep. And whenever she's pregnant and they bring food to her in her sleep, as soon as she finished eating the food, she would wake up having miscarriage. And this has been happening over and over and over again. And these people will just sit back and relax. You don't want to sit back. You want to fight back in the spirit realm. All of the things the enemy is taking away from you, they are rightfully yours, but they take it away. So you want to read the psalm. This psalm is quite a long one, but I tell you it's worth it. It's about 28 verses, 28 verses precisely. So you want to focus on this psalm Read it, walk around your house. If you want to read it into your oil, if you want to read it into your water, if you want to read it into your handkerchief, whatever thing you want to read the Psalms to, you just go ahead and do it. And it is working. I'm telling you, it is working. Now, the next Psalm I want you to see is Psalm 27. Now, this selection of Psalms are Psalms that you can also combine Whenever you're confronted with spiritual battles, whenever the enemy is fighting any part of your life, you can combine the Psalms. Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Now, this is a psalm that strengthens your confidence in the God of Israel. Hallelujah. So when you recite this psalm, you should have the assurance of faith that God is with you. When you recite the psalms, let me tell you what happens in the spirit. Realm. The angels are dispatched. And when that happens, you realize that you would sleep like a baby. The only thing that is permitted to happen to you in your sleep is to have great revelation of what God wants to do and not you fighting battles in the dream. Even if you fight battles in your dream, you will be victorious. Amen. The next time that I want to share with you is very, very important for every night that you want to sleep. You don't want to joke with this psalm. In fact, it's a classic psalm, but I want you to also include it. Don't overlook this psalm. This psalm is as potent as ever, and that is Psalm 91. And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. 
Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Did you see that? Let me share with you the verse that resonates with my heart. Verse 5. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the dark, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. This is the promise. He said, A thousand shall fall at thy side. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eye shall thou be old and see the reward of the wicked. If you learn to use this psalm, don't say I didn't tell you. A blend of this psalm I am giving to you. You will begin to hear that things are happening around you. You will begin to hear that some people are falling. You will begin to hear that some people who fly at night were unable to get up in the morning. Don't bother yourself. This is the power of Christ walking. The news will reach you that your enemies are falling. Don't worry. The angels of God are fighting on your behalf. The news will reach you via phone that something just happened. Someone who has been on your case and they have refused to leave your case. You will hear that they are already falling for your sake. Don't bother because the Bible says... Only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Now, it is not just about where you are. Your dwelling, your surrounding, your domain. See, it is an insult for demons, witches and wizards to gather around your vicinity. Mm -mm. It is an insult as a child of God. So the last psalm that I want to share with you is Psalm 23. Please follow the order. Follow this order. You want to download this video so you can always refer to it. Psalm 23 is a popular scripture. And I don't want you to underrate any book of Psalm. No. Every book in the book of Psalm, every part of the book of Psalm is powerful. If you have not seen that my introduction, please go and see it so that you don't take any psalm for granted. The book of Psalm is a good weapon in the hand of a believer. Who knows how to use it? Now, the book of Psalms, Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse 4. Now, this is the verse that resonates with our situation. You say, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. See, when you are sleeping, you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm telling you. So you do not want to be in that place and you are trapped. So you must be prepared. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. See, I always tell somebody, I said goodness and mercy, they are a kind of angel that must follow you all the time. If goodness and mercy are your bodyguards, even while you are sleeping, you will sleep like a baby. So please, I do not want you to take the Psalms that I have shared for granted. And I am looking forward to your testimony. I am looking forward to how God has helped you come out of that situation. If you have been sleeping and you keep having nightmares, using the Psalms will help you. And I am waiting for your testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray that every power that comes to attack you in your sleep, the ones that come to sleep with you in your dream, to take away that which God has deposited in you. Tonight, 
the power of God, the word of God will begin to stand against them in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the word of God. So when you speak any scripture, you are speaking Jesus. When you speak any part of the Bible, you are speaking the Son of God. So I want you to have faith and begin to declare these scriptures. And as you begin to declare these scriptures, heavens will begin to attend to you. The angels of God will be released to guide you, to protect you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen and amen. Now we have a telegram group that you want to join. I'll be dropping the link in the description of this video. Do where to click and join. And if you have any question for me, you just ask me on the telegram group or you give me a private chat on telegram. You can also follow us on Instagram and all the other social media platform on Instruction Flow. And I will be there to answer by the grace of God. See you in my next video. Keep winning. Shalom.